With just the press of a button, ICT Cabinet Secretary Joe Musheru and Codris Africa launched the first coding syllabus in the country. Codris Africa, you know, is, is an innovation in terms of accepting that we can take this kind of uh, coding and training so that all our young people can now embrace that as part of the CBC, part of the curriculum which is uh, very important. A syllabus that has already been approved by the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development and will be taught in primary and secondary schools. Today the world is looking for problem solvers. Learning to code has become more and more important to the digital world. And at the KCB group level, for us it's about uh, global reach and spanning Africa. So we mirror actually the ethos and ambitions of Codris and as a formal partner for us we've rolled up our sleeves and we want to go to the population. Students will benefit from technology that will help them compete with the developed world in the technology arena. So this is an opportunity we are being given now to make history. To take the digital space to the real setup and we shall support and I want to congratulate Codris we are going to partner with the schools by ensuring that they have the relevant uh, infrastructure, the gadgets that they require. We are able to structure something for them, facilities for them at friendly terms. I will also pledge that Stanby will contribute 100 computers to this initiative so that we actually contribute to these schools to get the support they require. Codri's Chief Executive Officer Mugu Momunene highlighted the need to embrace digital skills in preparation for the future job market. It is imperative that students learn the, the language of, of the world today and Codris Africa was purpose-built to add value to the body of knowledge that students are acquiring uh, through the established uh, uh, competency-based curriculum, which has uh, the seventh pillar as digital literacy, and so that they can have a better chance in the world of employment and employment creation. The adoption of technology by developing countries directly correlates with economies. Begging the question, how will coding affect students' lives in the continent? Our goal and ambition is to, to demystify and democratize coding. We don't want it left to uh, just children of the first world or other places, but that our own children have the ability and, and, the, and the possibilities, they have the, 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 the inbuilt you know, ability to be able to get into that market and carve their own paths, and they should have this opportunity. While Codris chairman Mwaneki Munuhe retaliated the need to prepare future generations for a global village where tech ruled. And when they went to Taiwan uh, to do some benchmarking, they had uh, access to, to uh, a group of uh, uh, pupils, equivalent of grade four, and they were doing uh, uh, 3D printing as a project and, um, and computer robotics. And the question that began to run in his mind is as if these kids are doing this at grade four. So what is happening at home, you see? So when their time comes to participate in an economy that is becoming completely digitized, they are going to colonize our kids at home digitally if we are not able to, uh, to, to, to play a role in, the, in, in this uh, activity. And, and so we have to keep asking ourselves, where do we stand? And I think when I look at you today, I feel very, very encouraged that there is hope we can make this happen by creating partnerships, by, by making sure that we support each other and we support government in, in, in what is going on. Because Africa, for us to succeed in Africa, and the guys who are going to control Africa are the guys who are going to, to be ahead of uh, the others in, in, in technology. Director of Criminal Investigations, George Kinoti, also present at the launch, underscored the importance of embracing technology in combating crime. We don't anymore go chasing robbers and all that. Those times of we used to chase all the way even with the choppers in our Suso and Nogo. We chase them in a laboratory. It's, we chase them in a computer. Take it from me. Codris Africa is a platform established to teach children between the ages of 7 to 16 years to code.
Salome Muirore, de Informa.